Alright, this is part two of the video for adverbs and adjectives. I'm going to go over the independent practice. I accidentally hit the stop button on the first video, and therefore now I have two videos for this lesson. Alright, so with the independent practice, it's the same thing as before. It says write ADJ for adjective or ADV for adverb above the each underlined word then draw an arrow to the word that it describes. Now the nice thing is is that they've underlined the words for you. You just have to decide is it an adjective, which is a describing word, or is it an adverb, which is a word that describes the verb. So I'll do number one with you, and then I want you to try the others on your own, and then like I said, you click on the PDF file, check your answers and see how you did. So number one says a tsunami completely destroyed, oh boy, um, um, I'm going to go with just Chile in 1835. I wasn't prepared for that, okay. So we have the word completely underlined. What is completely describing? It's describing the, or helping out with the verb, which is destroyed. So we're going to draw an arrow to destroyed, and this is an adverb because it describes the verb. All right, I apologize for that. Uh, number two through six, I want you to try those on your own. And then, like I said, check your answers. I will do the diagramming for you because I know that's the trickier part. Pull my book up, there we go. It says that Chinese man cautiously watched the sea. First, we have to look at the pattern. What is that whole sentence about? It's about a man. What did the man do? He watched, which is your verb. And what did he watch? He watched the sea, so that's your direct object. I'm going to draw our diagram. Man watched a half line C. All right, now we have to go back into the sentence. Are there any words that describe the subject, the verb, and the direct object? We do have two words that describe the man. It's that and Chinese. Is there a way that he watched the sea? Yes, he watched cautiously. And we have that special adjective, the, for the C. There you go. Alright, so I think that might be the easiest thing for you to do is when you're looking at a sentence, first thing about what is that sentence about? Uh, what are they doing? Or what, is, what action is taking place? And then is anything being directly affected by the subject or the verb? Sometimes it may just be the subject um, and the verb with a direct and or it could have a direct object. Now number eight's a little different. It says, excuse me. Alright, it says powerful tsunamis are very dangerous. So what is that whole sentence about? It's about tsunamis. So we're going to draw our line and fill us in. Tsunamis. What is the action word? It's R, which is actually a linking verb. So this is our subject. This is our linking verb. And then what are they? They're dangerous. Dangerous is a describing word, so that is a predicate adjective. So that's why our line is a little bit slanted like that. Alright, now we go back in the sentence. Oops, excuse me, I forgot to put the PA for predicate adjective.
Oops. All right, so now we're going to put in our describing words. Any words that describe tsunamis? Yes, they are powerful. Uh, let's see. I have to stand up for this one. There's nothing that describes the linking verb are, but there is a word that describes the predicate adjective. How dangerous are they? They're very dangerous. Just like that. All right, and remember, apply and write, you don't need to worry about that. All right, do the best you can with this lesson. I know this one is difficult. I think this part might be tricky, but that's why I did the diagrams for you. And make sure that you contact me if you need help, and I'll be more than happy to help you out with this.